January 26th on the Compete program. Starting today with a little bit of a different uh, sort of weightlifting, we're going in heavy sets of five thrusters. So not something we do very often, um, but obviously a great lift for just building full body strength. And it's obviously very relevant to CrossFit because it's one of the most tested movements. So you're gonna go every two minutes for five sets, five thrusters building to a daily heavy five. What I want you to do here is make sure all of these five sets are five complete reps. So I'm not kind of getting overexcited and by set four, you're already gone too heavy and you're, you're, you're missing at three, four reps in, failing those sets. So we get five by five reps of solid reps. And if you need to sit, fit in your ego lift after those, then do one extra set if you wanna go heavier for a set of five, okay? But I want five sets of five really solid lifts um, to start off. You'll get a two minutes rest and then you're gonna do 15 reps at 80% of today's heaviest load. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of weight off, 15 reps. I don't expect that those will be unbroken. I think that'll be really, really challenging. If you do that, then you have great endurance at high percentages of your maximal strength, which is, which is fantastic. Uh, but not many people are gonna be able to do those unbroken. So try to do them in as few sets as possible to get through those 15 reps um, quickly. Take some rest, and then you're gonna to today's leaderboard workout, um, which is a pretty classic combination of deadlifts and different inverted sort of uh, movements. So going nine deadlifts, nine wall walks, 15 deadlifts, 15 handstand push-ups, 21 deadlifts, 21 strict handstand push-ups. Then you go back down again, 15 deadlifts, 15 handstand push-ups, nine deadlifts, nine wall walks. Okay, so up and down that sort of pyramid of reps. The loading is relatively heavy. So 120 kilos for the guys and 80 kilos for the girls. If you usually do the RX and elite loading, then yes, this will be challenging, but you should be able to cycle through this just fine. And if you usually do the intermediate loading, then we can suggest taking that down to 100 and 100 kilos for the guys and 65 kilos for the girls. The Handstand push-ups, wall walks, strict handstand push-ups, make sure we're using the latest standards, so setting up that line on the wall. Of course, you would use those for the wall walks like we always do, but then for the handstand push-ups and strict handstand push-ups, having some sort of contact with that line was the latest standard, and it just makes sense to practice that with the Open coming up, quarterfinals coming up. If you are entering those competitions, you will need to be doing your handstand push-ups to this more difficult standard. If you're someone that usually has your hands wider or further away from the wall, it's going to feel extremely difficult if you don't practice doing them this way. They are just to a flat surface. Don't underestimate them. They're gonna be really challenging when you mix them with the deadlifts and all the other inverted work. So breaking those up smart, if you know that handstand push-ups are not a great movement for you, then be a little bit slower on your wall walks, a little bit more efficient, really trying to do as much work with the hips and legs as you walk up the wall um, and not loading the shoulders as much. And then the same thing with the kipping handstand push-ups, breaking them up more than you need to, even if you feel like they feel easy in the moment, you have those 21 strict reps that are coming up and the 21 strict reps in the middle of this workout and the nine wall walks at the end are really the two sort of limiters here, the things that are the most tiring, so you need to save yourself for those two things. After that, if you have extra time if in your session, so if you feel like you've done enough in this session, then just move straight on to the accessory work and that will be a great uh, session for today. But if you do have time to take about a 15 minute rest after the leaderboard workout, we have this basics fitness. So just on the minute for 12 minutes. Minute one is double unders, minute two is calorie echo bike, minute three is burpees, minute four is rest. And you rotate through that for three rounds, basically choosing as high, higher numbers as possible that you think you can maintain for all sets, okay? So if you are an RX athlete, for example, then we put as a suggestion 80 double unders, 15 slash 12 calories echo bike, and 16 burpees, and you need to be able to maintain that or higher for all of the rounds. Try and, this is a great way to practice your, knowing your own ability and your own pacing. What we've had recently on some, pro, on some of the workouts with this EMOM stuff is people they make the mistake of kind of going out way too hot and you just have this decline all the way through the workout. And what we want to get used to is having the same pace all the way through or the ability to, ability to increase your pace 
Okay, so kind of knowing yourself, starting with targets that you know you can hit, and if you feel great, then go bigger in the last round rather than having the drop off in the last round. And then, like I said, there is that accessory piece that you can do um, either instead of the basics or after the basics um, when you finish that.